Well, let's watch our backs and do a little exploring. Oh, and I see a home point crystal over there too. Perfect. And I think a survival guide as well too. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Now we can come out here the easy way. Now, do I have a map of this place? Oh, I do. This place ain't very big. Okay, so Kedarva Meyer. Hmm. Now, what's the best exit to take? Oh, look at these. Different colored cheapies. They look so tired and depressed. Then we got some more Kikirin folk out here. They're another form of beastmen that I think was introduced for the first time in this expansion. Well, let's just try going out and exit and see what we're dealing with here. Okay, let's wander out into this area that I know nothing about. Marsh Murr. Level 66. Oh, it looks like a bird. Puck traps. Oh, this place is swampy. There's some right up there swampland. Okay, it looks like we've got a home point crystal to the west. I don't see a book popping up on the map. Hmm. Let's go get that home point crystal. I feel a little better about our safety having a team out, so... So far, nothing aggressive. It's prob probably be an interesting place to come out and do some EXPing. Seems like a lot of passive mobs out here, just some stuff with linking. Oh, I thought I was going west. I was not going west. <laughs> oh well, let's just... Uh... Sneak up this way. I like how we've kind of left the open area and now it almost feels like we're trail breaking a little bit. For anybody watching who likes to hike and go for walks and stuff. Okay, let's pop through this spot where it trails off and see if we can get... Oh! We're zoning. Oh, we're back in Nashmau. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, cool. So that brought us to the north part. Okay. So if we want to get to that crystal, we've got to go out through the uh, through the western part. Okay, well, let's do that first. So now we're at the west side. And, oh, looks like it's not too far of a hike to get to the... Get to the crystal there. It looks like it might be stuck in a cluster of rocks or something. Still nothing aggressive that I can see. Hmm. What an eerie place. I like it. Like, I feel like Pierso and uh, Rage Cat would be getting some serious goosebumps just walking around out here. I'm really glad that at some point I picked up a whole bunch of maps. I feel like I'm actually prepared for a change. Okay, so we're coming out to another area. Whoa, look at all this. Almost kind of has a King Ranpir tomb vibe to it. Just ruins of old structures. And a tiny little fence that I can't hop. We've got some Kirins roaming around here too. Not sure if they're going to be aggressive. Excuse me, can I ask you for directions? Oh, he's just wandering around with his knife out, minding his own business. Well, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that they probably don't aggro, because he's only like 10 levels below us. So as long as we don't bother them, I don't think they're going to bother us. Okay, so we're coming up to a cave. There's our crystal. Beautiful. 
I'm kind of curious about what's beyond this crystal. I'm going to send Rage Cat in. Just because I don't want to despawn trust. Talaka Cove. There is no map for this area. Hmm. I'm guessing that this must be a like a battlefield or a story related place. Oh, please tell me Rage Cat can still get out. Hmm. Remnants of a ship. Interesting. Oh, okay, good. Rage Cat can still get out. I was a little worried there for a sec. All right, I just wanted to see what was over this way. Okay, we got the home point crystal. Now we need to get to Arapago Reef. Looking at a map online, it looks like we can get to the reef a couple of different ways. We can either go up this way or we can go up this way according to the map. Let's head to this one up here and see if that will get us to where we got to go. Back about as north as we can go from Nashmau. So let's get back to the big area we were in from the beginning. And we're going to loop around, essentially do a U-turn. And try to... There's a bit of a gap between the two land masses there. Let's move the marker here. Right here. So I'm hoping there's passage through there. So that we can get to the reef. Again, I'm not familiar with these areas, so this is all... Might as well be brand new to me. I think I have a very vague memory of this place way, way back in the day. Oh! It's a little bug dude. Ow! Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, if I remember correctly... I think these guys just pop out of the ground randomly and attack you. They're like... They're like Northern Canada's black flies. They just appear. And they suck. Well, Pierso wasn't an anxious about bugs. He is now. There we go. So we might have to deal with that shit. Did anyone bring bug repellent? I didn't think so. Okay, so I want to go up this way. But unfortunately, there's a ledge. Is there a way up said ledge? No? Huh. Okay, let's... Can we find a different way up there? Well, let's do some looking around, see what we can find. I see a cave. Okay, that might be our way. I'm going to go ahead and throw a marker here. Just... We'll just put cave. Or tunnel. Or whatever. Okay, leech. My gosh, I love how eerie this is. This is like something out of a... Out of one of those, like, creepy Halloween movies. Wild Caracool. I'll bet these things get eaten alive by those bugs. You just can't get over that face. Look how depressed they look. Just tired and done. Well, I found a Detoria sheep. Let's bag them. And we've got some trust support, so I think we'll be okay. You definitely don't want to underestimate Notorious Monsters. Okay, get Rage Cat's buffs up. I want Pierso help out with some heals. And I'll also throw up some defense buffs too. Oh, we got some Shigos. Little bastards. Eat Circle Blade. Yeah, that's what I thought. They're probably munching on this poor sheep's fluffy bum.
Oh, and we got more of them. Oh no. Oh no! Oh gosh, there's four of them. Wow. Well, there you go. At least I can take them all down with one well-placed circle blade. Oh, there's more of them. I wonder if this notorious monster just spawns them, you know? Yeah, that might be it. Maybe he just spawns Chagos. Just wants to share his misery with everyone. Okay. I'm going to try to get off a of cure here so I can wake everybody up. There we go. Oh, what? Oh, jeez. I guess my majesty wore off. Let's try that again. There we go. And another circle blade. And more of them just show up. <laughs> what a mess. How many parasites do you have? Oh, come on. Okay, throw up a flash. And another circle blade. Friggin' bugs. Oh, it looks like I missed a couple. Alright, I'm just gonna get Rage to do a dragon kick since we're not worrying about skill chains right now. What a funny boss. Alright, let's finish this up proper. Or try to. Okay, there we go. Let's line these bugs up. Get lost. And... Oh, I got a pair of Nightmare Gloves. What do those do? Nightmare Gloves, level 75. Avatar... Oh, they're for, like, Summoner. Cool. I'll get Rage to hang on to those. We have gotten Rage all of her gobby bag spots, so she is the glorified backpack of the team. Alright, well, that was a thing. Let's, uh, let's move on. Okay. I'm betting there's probably another cave up this way? And maybe up this way? Either way, we do have a shot to the Arapago Reef going that way, but I kind of want to look around this area first. Just see what we can find. Oh, gross. There are sleeping doom blobs bathing in the water. Gross. So probably don't want to eat anything out of that uh, out of that swamp. Looks like we're going to be fighting at least one of these. We'll just stick to the wall here. I'm going to evoke them over. Get over here, you big sack of nasty. Hopefully nothing out here aggro's magic. Throw up a little mantra. Rage Cat to raise our max HP. I'm gonna refresh Majesty. Throw up Defender. And get some healing support going. Sentinel, Divine Emblem, and Holy. There we go. I'm loving that combination. I can't wait to get Holy 2 at some point and do that. Alright, Swift Blade. And this is going to be a bunch of overkill here. Alright, we're going to try going west here. Don't know why Pierso has a flea effect. <laughs> Maybe the mob caused some kind of fear effect or something that makes him want to run? I don't know. Oh, we see Treants. And I see a big-ass tree. And of course they're aggressive because they're jerks. 
They've been around too long and they're just mad at the world. I think they, yeah, they aggro by sound. We should be able to just sneak right by him. Beauty. You know, I actually think I do have a vague memory of this place. Um, I think I remember coming here with a friend. They were like a level 60 or 70 something red mage. And I seem to remember them getting chased by one of those, by one of those trees and getting annihilated. Which was scary for me because I think I was in like the 40s or 50s just out here to get, probably to get this job unlocked. And this friend of mine had always been like, seemed invincible to me and then to see them get killed by something, I'm like, oh, geez. All right. Good teamwork on the bugs. Okay, we're getting a little turned around here. Okay, let's move up this way. I see a leech and it looks like we've got another tunnel. Oh, jeez, you guys are just like the black flies in northern Alberta. Gross. Back in July, because my other hobby on top of gaming is I like to camp, I actually camp out of the back of my truck. And um, I went camping up in northern Alberta and drove up to the Northwest Territories border, and the black flies up there were something fierce. I couldn't even get out of my truck at some points. I got out to get something out of the back seat, and within like six, seven seconds, my entire truck was swarmed in black flies. So, these little Shigo guys are kind of reminding me of that. Okay, got another tree there. Slimes are almost always guaranteed to aggro. I think there's very few of them that are actually passive in this game. Okay, let's see if we can go the long way around here. Really watching Rage Cat close to make sure she don't get stuck. Okay, I see another... Looks like we got another tree. Yeah, another mature tree ant over here. And another one. I've never seen that many in uh, one area at once. Oh, and another one over there. And imps. Fuck, oh, this place is uh, a little scary. Okay. Uh, we need to get up that way. Imagine camping in a place like this. <laughs> I mean, maybe if you were in a tank instead of, you know, a tent or a little camper. Looks like that probably leads to another tunnel over there, I'm guessing. Oh, and it looks like we've got some undead wandering around and Lamias too. Cool. This is my first time actually seeing a Lamia up close. Very cool. Okay, let's see if we can sneak on through here. How do Lamias... Uh, they're snakes, so I imagine they're probably going to aggro by sound. No, they aggro by sight. Okay. Oh. Okay, we've got some uh, hostiles up ahead. Well, at least these uh, undead don't link. I'm going to throw her holy circle up since they're undead. Oh, reserve Draugr. Kind of like Skyrim. Oh, he's a mage type. Or he's a dragoon. Yet he's casting spells? I think that entry must be wrong. Oh, look at these guys. They look so cool. Like ancient and shit. Almost like, like they were mummified. Maybe that's what they're going for. Okay, a little bit of healing. I'm just going to save my TP for now. Rage Cat can throw up her damage increasing buffs again. Save the TP for another one of them down there. Looks like we'll be having our first Lamia fight too. Oh, 
Okay, cool. Let's pull... Looks like the other one's a mage type, too. Let's pull the Lamia next. Now, they can do charm, so we're going to want to take her out very quickly. Alright, let's get R Rage Cat lined up. Stay away from my man, you lizard-eating snake bitch! Alright, Swift Blade. And Dragon Kick. Beauty. Our first Lamia fight, we nailed it. And Rage Cat got a merit point, too. Alright, next. Little bit of boost. Little bit of Chi Blast, I think so. You know, you look a little all bones and well bones. I think you need a little holy in your life. There you go. Maybe you need a little bit of a little bit of cure in your life too. Oh, didn't even get it off in time. Lami and Fanky. I almost wonder if these skeletons, I don't know much about the lore out here, but I'm almost wondering if they, uh, they're just like unfortunate bastards who were killed, but charmed and killed by the Lamia and now wander as their like forever undead minions. If there's any merit to that theory, let me know in the comments below. Okay, so now we're coming to a tunnel and I think we're going to be going to the Arapago Reef now. Well, this is some, uh, creepy survival horror little ghost girl running around with a with a teddy bear and a chainsaw music okay so let's go back to the guide here so we have to find a question mark at h10 on the first boat hidden beneath the stairs to receive an antique automaton there are skeletons lamia they will aggro up to level 99 characters at some points Okay. Well, we know what we have to do. Let's get her done and get the hell out of this creepy place. So I'm guessing this is that, like, ship graveyard that we saw in the, uh, when we were on the boat. Well, that's cool. I found that to be quite intriguing, so... We can explore this place now. And we've got a survival guide, too. And we've got a darkness element going on here. Call me shocked. Okay, let's head north. Oh, there we have it. There's a boat. This is so fucking cool. Arapago, Apkalu, aggressive. I feel like everything out here is going to be aggressive. Just saying. Let's head down here. Okay, so skeleton. What about the crabs? Nope, they don't appear to be aggressive. Oh, cool. We're actually, like, on the boat. This is so cool. I like this. Okay, so H10, so we're already pretty well where we need to be. Now we just need to find the automaton under some stairs. Oh, what's this? Oh, cool. You see an old dented automaton. He's so very lonely and probably full of mold. Why, you managed to find quite an age model. Yeah, he was under some steps, gathering dust and mold. And the older the better, when it comes to my research. I thank you for your work. This will do nicely. It may take some time to research and customize this automaton, but I know how long you've been waiting, so I'll try to finish up as soon as I can. Just wait until you see what I can do with this baby. Okay, so before we can advance any further in this quest, much like the Blue Mage quest, we have to wait a game day 
And I'm assuming zone out of the area. Some time has passed and we have zoned. Let's speak with Gatsat again. Sorry for the wait. Here's the automaton I promised you. I've upgraded it to the newest model. This model was a prototype. I remember a great deal while studying it. The data was extremely helpful and is certain to prompt great progress in my research. I hope you will find the automaton just as invaluable as it now belongs to you. Take good care of it now. Okay, now we've just got to go talk to that, uh... Sorry about that. Now we'll just have to go talk to that, uh, grumpy Taru Taru again. Hey, Grumpalumpa, I brought you an automaton. You again? What do you want now? You brought me an automaton. F for me? No, no, no. I, I can't possibly accept this. Until recently, I was considered the top puppeteer on Urgum, so I know how they work. This automaton won't work with anyone but you. Try it out, and you'll see what I mean. My automaton only worked for me, and I couldn't have performed with another automaton either. You form a sort of bond, you see. What? Does that create a problem for you? Oh, yes. I did mention that I can't talk about puppeteering without an automaton. I was just saying that to get rid of you. Don't get me wrong. I was completely serious about not being able to talk about Mithra if there are no ears or tails involved. Um, anyway, what did you want to ask me about puppeteering? Or did you come to ask me how goblins look under their masks? You see about that. Oh, you were more interested in puppeteering after all. You want to know what it takes to become a puppet master, do you? I don't know what you're talking about. You're already a puppet master. You have your own automaton. That's proof. Huh? Shamaran told you you can't operate an automaton if you're not a puppet master? Hmm. He's just making stuff up. Do any of you have your story straight? For fuck's sake. Well, come to think of it, he does have a point. If you can't let the automaton know what you're thinking, it's not going to move. I've got something to help you with that. Ah, here it is. You can use this controller. Now try pushing here. Uh, on button. S stand up. Good puppet. Add attention. See? Now it knows what you're thinking. And the more you work together, the more responsive it'll become to your commands. I would make my puppet do all kinds of stupid shit. You can use this animator to give direction to your automaton. Oh, and you should give your automaton a name, too. It's all yours now, so you gotta decide. Okay, so I, I did talk to Rita when we did the Dragoon quest. I'd forgotten to talk to Rita about naming the Wyvern. So Rita has picked a name for Rage Cat's uh, automaton, uh, Alouette. So, let's see, what name do I want for Pierso's? Ha! Huh, let's go Lobo. That sounds like a cool name. Good luck. I'm behind you all the way. There we go. We can now become a Puppet Master. I still gotta do Rage Cats, but let's see what the, uh... I think I've actually seen Marin do this job emote. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, I've seen that one before. But now we can do it ourselves. Okay. Just gonna get Rage Cat's cutscene done, and then we will move on to the final job of Ad Ergen, unlocking the Corsair. <laughs>